Our next speaker is Mikey Jaukas. Voted on by his peers with the approval of faculty, Mikey is the recipient of this year's Carey Cup, an award established by the class of 1951 in honor of their classmate, Andrew W. Carey, Jr., and given annually to the senior chosen to be the speaker for the graduating class. Mikey joined Columbus Academy in pre-K and has made a lasting impression in his time here. Ever ready to participate in the life of the school, Mikey has been president of his class both his 10th and 11th grade year, and as a senior was this year's co-student body president. Honored as a 12 season athlete, he's been a consistent member of the football, swim, and lacrosse teams, and served most recently as a lacrosse captain. Mikey also founded the Shipmates Program, a cross-divisional connection for upper school athletes to mentor students in lower school. One of his favorite CA memories was giving part of the opening of school convocation speech and getting his kindergarten buddy. And in the fall, he will be headed to West Point. Given his kind nature and desire to connect with others, we are delighted to have him speak on behalf of his class. Please welcome Mikey to the stage. Thank you, Mrs. Zakaitis. Good morning, and thank you to Ms. Soderberg, the Board of Trustees, friends, families, and most importantly, the class of 2024. I am humbled and honored to have been chosen to give the valedictory address to wrap up our time at Columbus Academy and give a final send off to this amazing group of people. However, I'm still wondering, why me? What did you all want me to say? Did you know my very first action last fall as a newly elected student body co-president the face of the school was to miss a meeting with Mrs. Soderberg. <laughs> Not my best moment. But thinking about challenges I faced inspired me to talk to you this morning about three lessons I learned while applying to West Point. I hope I can impart some knowledge, I hope I can impart some knowledge about what I believe to be true about having a successful life and hopefully leave you with something to think about as we enter this next chapter of our lives. I think it's appropriate to start this off with a quote from one of the most famous generals in history and West Point grad, George S. Patton. Patton said, nobody ever defended anything successfully. There is only attack and attack and attack some more. The first and one of the most important lessons I ever learned is to never ever quit. While there are a lot of things you cannot control in your life, your attitude and how you approach problems are things you can always control. It takes grit and determination to achieve your goals. During my application, I was bombarded by what felt like a relentless barrage of documents I had to fill out, essays I had to write, tests I had to take, and interviews I had to conduct. All these tasks as a whole seemed impossible to complete and at times overwhelming. My life would have been easier if I had just quit. Instead, I discovered grit is something you have to find within yourself. Making it through Columbus Academy with rigorous academics and additional extracurriculars is proof that you all have that grit. We all have that determination to attack, the, attack until the challenge is won. I learned that all of our challenges together can seem like too much. However, no singular task was extremely difficult. Approaching the problems by breaking it down piece by piece and focusing on one aspect or one assignment at a time can ease the stress of, of completing the whole task. Consistently taking small steps is key. One final aspect of perseverance is the empathy in how you talk to yourself along the way. As Brene Brown said, talk to yourself like you would someone you love. A second key component of success comes from belief in oneself. Mark Twain said, to believe yourself brave is to be brave. It is the one only essential thing. His point is, to be someone who achieves their goals, you do not need to be a superstar. The most powerful belief someone can have is belief in themselves. During my application, I was constantly tested on this concept. Sometimes self-doubt crept into my mind and made me think about whether or not I was as good as some of the other candidates. I was competing against kids who had perfect test scores, student body presidents, multi-varsity sport athletes, international students, and kids who specifically go to military prep schools. Caving to self-doubt would have been easier However, I knew how much work I put into not only my academics and sports, but also my drive to achieve my goal. So I thought to myself, why not me? Everyone in this audience has undoubtedly had thoughts of self-doubt at some point in their life. Whether it's a student thinking about whether or not they can perform on a test, a doctor thinking about whether or not they can perform a surgery, or 
a kid named Mikey thinking about whether or not he should be giving this address, everyone has faced this challenge of self-doubt. To this I say, why not you? You are your best asset. You are the cavalry. Trust in yourself, because while you may not know it now, Columbus Academy has prepared for you to thrive in this world, and college is the first step. After going to school with you for many years, I can confidently say I believe in the abilities of every member of the class of 2024 to work through the challenges we will face and to attack those challenges until the day is won. I believe in you. We have champions in sports, chess, robotics, arts, math, orchestra, and so much more. We have a record-breaking high jumper, an amazing pep band, and as well as a jazz band led by the most beautiful voice. We have many different cultures, backgrounds, and beliefs. Yet, as different as we may seem, we have attacked every challenge together as one. We have leaned on each other through our challenges and we have prevailed. Finally, dream big. I know you all have heard this saying many times and in many different aspects of life, but it's true. Dream big, then go for it. Famous poet Maya Angelou said, a person is the product of their dreams, so make sure to dream great dreams and then try to live your dreams. Her dream was to have freedom and equality for all people no matter their race. My dream is to become an officer in the United States Army and uphold the values expressed in the motto of West Point, duty, honor, country. So I ask, what is your dream? Some of you may dream of becoming doctors and saving lives. Some of you may dream of becoming engineers and improving lives. Some of you may dream of becoming an artist, a teacher, an author, a scientist, or a business person. If you don't know what your dream is yet, that's okay. This is the time of our lives to try things out. See what sparks your interest so that you have a career and a life you love. So, seek out your dream and don't let anything stop you from achieving it. Dreams are what motivate us to create positive impact on the world. I have no doubt every member of the Columbus Academy class of 2024 will dream big dreams, believe in yourselves, be fearless, and go for it with passion and courage. And know that the skills you have built and the friendships you have made here at Academy will both be a safety net and a springboard to accomplish all of your biggest, wildest dreams. Thank you to our teachers, administrators, friends, and family for your unwavering support. It is because of your guidance, encouragement, and love we have made it this far and can confidently take the next steps in our lives. And to my fellow graduates, I'm so honored to have shared these, these past few years with you all. Our paths may take us down different roads, but Columbus Academy will always be the one connecting thread that makes us whole. Congratulations, class of 2024. Now, let's dream big dreams and then go live them. Thank you.